Good morning, John Glenn. Today is Tuesday, December 13th, 2022. I'm Major, and this is The View from the Falcon's Nest. Congratulations to our winners of the 8th Annual Sw Ugly Sweater Contest, Mr. Snyder for the staff and Rowdy Smith for the students. A huge thank you to all participants last week, and happy holidays to you all. Attention Class of 2026, an old tradition with a new twist. Check out the new class band and si signet ring. Jostens will be here on Thursday during lunch to take jewelry orders. Please bring your completed form to the order table to receive your free gift with purchase. As a reminder, the free gift with purchase offer is only available until December 23rd. Place your orders on school order today. And now we'll be doing the raffle for the Christmas thing. The winner is Kennedy Hayden. Please report to the media center to win your, or redeem your prize. Now to support or weather with Gavin. Good morning, John Glenn. Today will be a high of 41, cloudy with a real feel of 30. Wind speed will be east-southeast, 14 miles per hour. And now for the three day, Wednesday will be a high of 41, partly sunny with a low of 37. Thursday will be 43, thunderstorms with a low of 30, and Friday will be 35, rainy or snowy with a low of 21. And now to sports with Nathan. John Glenn, senior standout, Bryson Hanna has made it official. The two-sport athlete will play collegiately at Indiana Tech in Fort Wayne. Bryson, a standout first baseman and pitcher, has been a key piece on the Falcon baseball team for multiple years, particularly the spring of 2022 when the Falcons were able to claim the IHSA sectional title and ended the season as regional runner-ups following the eventual state champion, Andrean. Bryson has received many postseason ho honors during the, post during the past three years, including IHSBCA, All-State First Baseman, his sophomore and junior season, and All-Northern Indiana Conference honors his sophomore season. Bryson has also been named Team Co-MVP the last two seasons and will continue that, ca that success into his final season this spring. He is the son of basketball coach Travis Hanna and John Glenn staff member Christian, Christian Hanna. Falcon wrestlers are showing up in the rankings. Boys, all rankings are in the semi-state. 113, Brody King, number 7. 126, weight class, Bentley Whitmer, number 8. 160, weight class, Sam Strange, number 7. And 195, weight class, Aiden Smigelski, number 8. For girls, rankings in the state. One, 145, weight class, Olivia Nifong, number 12. 152 weight class, McKenzie Platts, number 10. The wrestling team has compiled a phenomenal record of 24-3 and this season so far and is in action in their home debut Wednesday night at 7 p.m. against St. Joe and wants a loud crowd. Northwood is atop this week's South Bend Tribune top 10 boys basketball list. Glenn did not make the list this, this week. Penn is number two, followed by Mishawaka, Marion, South Bend, Washington, Northridge, Mishawaka, St. Joe, Riley, Goshen, and Plymouth. South Bend, Washington remains the top girls team in the state in the week, weekly associated press poll. Northridge is number 11, and Marion is number 15th. Valparaiso was 20th. Fairfield and Andrean were honorable mention teams this week. It's a huge week for John Glenn athletic teams. Headlined by... Thursday's matchup here in girls basketball with number one South Bend, Washington. JV Tip is at six. But tonight, the girls host Plymouth and will be out to defeat a Lady Pilgrim team that currently has a losing record. On a Wednesday, our wrestlers will host St. Joe. Friday night, boys host South Bend, Washington, and boys will host LaVille on Saturday. The wrestling team will be in action at a dual meet in Crown Point Saturday. Now to lunch with Gavin. For lunch today, we will be having chicken fajita strips, Italian pepperoni calzone, PBJ, refried beans, golden corn, and a variety of fresh fruits. That's all we have for today, Falcons. Have an amazing day.